Just, uh, just wanted to share my experience with you guys in regards to my process joining FedEx Freight as a city driver. I held my Class B license for just a little over seven years. I was a bus driver. And then uh, COVID happened, so my bus driving job, as well as my, I, I was a, I, I ended up moving into part-time bus driving and then I became a, uh, a dispatcher. And then I left my full-time job as a dispatcher and decided to get my Class A permit because I missed driving. Because COVID was going on, I was furloughed from my driving position with the bus company. And um, earlier March is when I filled out the application for FedEx Freight. And um, they didn't contact me at first. It took like two or three months for them to call and I was starting to get a little discouraged because I did my research I, I looked into other companies like Prime, Rail uh, TMC uh, which is a flatbed company and um, I was looking into LTL work and at first I was like you know it'll be very adventurous if I can travel and do uh, do over the road, but the, the what I what I saw with a lot of the over over the road was the uh, the miles the cents per mile wasn't really what I thought it should be. As you know, I I, I it, it didn't discourage me from becoming a trucker. What it did was I, I, you know, I wanted to see which one would be a better fit for me. Um, I ended up excluding flatbed because um, I'm afraid of heights. <laughs> and watching some guys, they had to get up on the load and tarp it down. I'm not afraid of hard work. I decided against it. Um, I think once I, if I put my mind to it, I guess I can do it. But starting out. I decided not to go for it. Uh, reefer, I look into reefer, and um, I had a buddy of mine, a friend of mine, I should say. She had her her husband worked for a company. He did uh, reefer and dry van for that company, and I, I I sat down with him one day and I asked him about the job, and it sounded all good and great for the company that he was working for. He was also a trainer for that company. But I was also looking at the home time. Now, um, if you're a family guy, if you have a family, wife, kids, or if you're if you have engagements at home that you need to do, that's something that you gotta really, really, really look into because um, you can be you can make the career change and become a truck driver, and then realize this is not a good fit and then do another career change because you're away from home. While I waited for the application for FedEx to go through and someone to contact me to set up an interview, um, a few months passed. So I, I, I was starting to get a little discouraged because the alternative was to do OTR, whether it was reefer or dry van. And, um, when it came down to it, I said, you know what, uh, if they don't call me, then I'll have to bite the, the bullet, so to speak, and pick an OTR company and have them train me. Um, 
as I was doing that, I was in contact with a trainer here at FedEx, as well as one of my buddies that work here. He's a uh, road driver. And I, I picked their brain almost like every week. Hey, like, what's the job? What is it like? You know, what to expect? That sort of stuff. And they were very helpful, very, very helpful. And when the terminal, well, at the time, she's the assistant terminal manager, she called me and uh, set up an interview. And I I liked the benefits package. The, the money was okay at the time. I mean, it's still okay. Um, but they were going through, they needed to hire people, so they were hiring people at top rate. Um, so it was an apprenticeship program for the city position, city driver meaning that I am the delivery driver, pickup driver. I take freight from the terminal, deliver it to the customers, and bring freight back from the customers, take it to the terminal. Then the road drivers will then take that freight from terminal to terminal or to a meet point. But um, we sat down, we went through the... Uh, we sat down, we went through the... Uh, we went through the interview. I asked her questions in regards to um, what the job was like, and I liked how I, I liked how it sounded, and I thought that it was going to be a good fit. Um, and we proceeded from there. So, with the apprenticeship program for the city side, I'm not quite sure how the road apprentice works. If it's the same, if they work the dock just like the city apprentice does, but you get trained on the dock. You learn how to use the forklift, you know, ins and outs of dock work. And then when a position becomes available for, in terms of having a uh, driver development instructor freed that can train you because the training is one-on-one, -on -one, then they'll move you from the dock work to the, uh, the driver development course. For me, that process took one week. <laughs> Normally, it takes a few months, but I lucked out. And uh, it just so happens that one of the instructors became free that week that I started working. And um, I was able to get a slot to become a city, to, to, to go into the uh, instructor's course, instructor course, into the... DDI program. Uh, the training is one on one, and it could be anywhere from three to seven weeks, I believe. So um, I went in with my permit, and I had taken the tests for all my endorsements, uh, which is hazmat the doubles and triples and the tanker endorsement i knew the requirements so i you know i got the ball rolling so in case something happened and it just so happened that you know i had all my ducks lined in a row and it, it everything played out well um i got into the driver development course within that week uh for me it took three weeks to learn how to drive a tractor trailer to be honest with you, I will give a big shout out to truck simulators because I play a lot of simulation games and trucking simulator was one of them, more specifically American truck simulator and Euro truck simulator. And I had the gist of how to actually back up and, and, and all that stuff from playing essentially video games. But now it was to put it into practice in the real world and driving a manual transmission truck because I didn't want a restriction on my license. And I thought those two things were going to be the largest hurdle, which turned out to be the total opposite. Um, I think that it's a very forgiving program. Um, it, and it's one-on-one, -on -one, which is the added benefit. So for eight hours a day, you're with the same person instructing you on how to do it, you know, and they're teaching you 
tricks and uh, not tricks, but, you know, they're teaching you the way of how to safely maneuver these trucks. Um, I had an amazing instructor, so that was an added benefit. And the fact that I came in with an understanding of already how to set up a tractor with the trailer and backing it up. I'm still not, you know, like 20 year veteran status, but you know, I can hold my own. Um, I still learn every day. Every day is still a learning experience. There's some things that I still don't know how to do in the trucking world because let's face it, in LTL, we don't slide tandems as much, if at all. Um, and um, we don't like have to sleep at truck stops or sleep in our trucks. We, we drive day cabs, you know. So we don't have the, the uh, I guess, the experience like some truckers but we're still truckers you know we're we're still experiencing how it is to drive a truck uh from start to finish with the training program i would say it was from the the time i started the application to the end of the training program i would say it was five I would say it was about six months. And that's with the waiting of them trying to call and set up an interview. That's what, that was the, the longest part. Um, I was able to get a road test on my third week of training. So, and I passed it my first shot, thank God. Um, and ever since then, you know, been out here doing it. Uh, this is going to be I've been driving for about six months six months in driving a tractor trailer for about six months and I love it, I absolutely love it um, like I said I, f I, I feel like this job was meant for me you know I don't think that I come to work every day it's very lucrative if, if, you, if you're willing to work you're home every day and here at FedEx we get paid overtime after eight hours um, and they started me at top pay it was an incentive to bring drivers in throughout the COVID period but um, other than that I mean I absolutely love it and you know they're not like if you're actually looking into LTL work I'm not saying FedEx is the best FedEx Freight or the top paying out there. But me personally, this is home for now, you know. Um, it might be home forever. I don't know yet, you know. It's, I, this is by far, in my opinion, one of the best jobs I've ever had. And because I don't actually consider this work. I come here because I enjoy driving. I absolutely enjoy driving. And... When I come here, the people, the, the atmosphere is amazing. Definitely look into it. If I were looking for another company, FedEx Freight, highly recommend it. Great pay. You're home every night. Off weekends. Yeah, we don't. As a city driver, I'm home every evening. Get to eat dinner. Hang out with my dogs. This is the first time in a long time that I didn't have to do weekends and stuff like that. But, you know, I absolutely recommend it if you, you know, if you're looking into LTL work, FedEx Freight. Or, you, you know, pick a company. They're all pretty much the same in terms of, like, you know, the type of work. You know, different companies going to have a little bit different benefits type things, but you're going to have to pick what's best for you and your family. Me personally, I thought FedEx Freight was it. So I went with FedEx Freight. Um, so if you ever see me or you have any questions, you know, reach out in the comments. I hope I helped somebody. I hope I put you at ease in the decision making because it was a tough decision for me. Trust me. But if you choose to go to LTL, 
do it. If you want to become a truck driver, do it. It's right now. Other than the money, it's it's one of those jobs where you're like, wow, that's what I do for a living. Pretty, pretty good, if you ask me. And I've had some amazing jobs throughout my life, but this by far, because this is what I wanted to do for a long time, this is it. Trucking is it, you know. Trucking is life. But I hope I help someone. Until next time, guys, be safe. Thank you.